In this video, we're going to solve a value problem that deals with coins. In a child's bank are 11 coins that have a value of $1.85. The coins are either dimes or quarters. How many of each coin does the child have? To help us know what's going on, we're going to organize what information we have in a table. We're going to have one column which represents the number of coins, one column that represents the value of each coin, and then another val a column for the total amount of money found in each coin. We can calculate that total amount by multiplying the number of coins by the value of each coin. We have nickels and quarters. Oh, I'm sorry, quarters and dimes. In this problem. We don't know the number of quarters, so let's call it Q. However, the value attached to each quarter is 25 cents. When we multiply these, we get 25 Q in quarters. For the dimes, we don't know the number of dimes, so let's call it D. We do know the value of each dime is 10 cents. Multiplying dimes times 10, we get 10 D. In this problem, we're also given several totals. There are 11 coins. This is the total number of coins in the bank. If we were to total the number column, we would get 11. 185 is a total of the value of the coins when the total values are added together. It's really important that because we did the value of the quarters and dimes in cents, we also do the, va the total value in cents as well as 185 cents. Notice the first and last column now can become two equations. Quarters plus dimes equals 11, and 25 quarters plus 10 dimes equals 185. We now have an equation we can solve quickly using elimination by addition. Multiply the first equation by negative 10, and that equation becomes negative 10Q minus 10D equals negative 110. The second equation is still 25Q plus 10D equals 185. And so when we combine them together, we end up with 15Q equals 75. Divide both sides by 15, and we now know the number of quarters in the bank. The number of quarters is 5. To find the number of dimes, we simply have to go back to one of the original equations. Probably the first one would be the easiest, which says that quarters plus dimes is 11, or 5 plus dimes is 11. Subtracting 5, we now know that there are 6 dimes in the bank. The child has 5 quarters and 6 dimes, which will have a total value of $1.85. We made two equations to represent this problem by organizing the number of coins, the value of the coins, and multiplying to get the total of the coins. We then simply had to decide where the total numbers went. 11 was a number, and 185 was a total. Using those two columns, we got two equations we could solve to answer our question.